What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Clean and Green Deck Building Services. <laughs> hey, hope y'all are having a great day. About nine o'clock. Just got done with men's prayer time at the office. And White Lightning headed to day two, part two, deck renovation and rebuild. Yeah, demolition and rebuild, deck restoration. Put the pictures on social media last night. Got another call. <laughs> While I was working on this deck, a guy stops by and says, Hey, I got a utility shed and need some work done on it. <laughs> hey, man, work's out there. That's all I'm saying. It's out there. Just got to get out there and do it, man. I don't know how much of this other stuff I'll get to. Uh, you know, because once the mowing starts, uh, most of this stuff stops. 002, Elro Mow, they're out cutting today. about an hour ago and they only got a few to do so they're gonna go out and knock them out and uh, while I work on this project so I don't know man I just let them cut all the grass and I just keep doing this stuff have to get them a GoPro if I do that though let them make some videos man but uh, anyway headed back up here I got up early this morning went to breakfast uh, in town with a couple of the, some of the local folks, you know, just to hang out. Came back to the office, did a few things, met with the guys there. Now I'm going to work. Probably work till 5 o'clock this evening, you know. Uh, really depends on where I get. Uh, it, if, I, if I get to, I'll work to 5 o'clock or to a good stopping point, you know. All right, so real quick, I just want to show y'all something. Uh, <clears throat> what I did is I got this board, uh, this band where it needs to go, and it's level. I did the same thing on the other end. Now, all these blocks I'm sitting, what I'm doing, see that string? Pull the string from this end to that end, and then... I set all my blocks up to that string. Okay, you see that? That way, I keep everything level. So that's just one way. Uh, string is a very cheap, very efficient way to do that. As uh, long as you got a reference point to pull off of. Man, that lens is dirty. Still looks dirty. Yeah, I'll clean it when I cut it off. Uh, but as long as you got a reference point, you know, two good places, what you want to build off of, you can do that. It's just like this board. See this? This is my starter board getting my height. Right? All the way down. So, make sure it was level. And it does not follow the house. If you notice down there on that end, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's up over the vinyl side. Here it's below the vinyl side. Uh, but this house actually has a little hump in the middle. So the ends of the house have settled and that middle pylon right there has not as much as the ends. And so, uh, well, I say that and then they put the vinyl siding on to the existing deck that was here, which was not level. So, uh, so we're not going to follow the, we're not going to make the deck unlevel to match that. We're going to level the deck. And I did put it high enough to where we can just kind of butt the boards into the vinyl and you won't see that big gap under there. But anyway we got to make one more run through here and then we got to work in between here because it needs to come out flush with this it's come out flush with these pillars all the way down so uh well our two bows will be set in two inches because we want two inch overhang on it so that's what we got going so i'm gonna set y'all up again just kind of run the time lapse and uh you know if i have something else interesting to to share or to talk about i'll uh I'll let y'all know.
day. Um, even these little nooks here, you can see I got them framed out. The step area is framed out. This nook, everything out flush with these columns. This one. And put my band on and finish this area down here. We did have to go get some more blocks. So that set me back a little bit, but I got everything worked in around there. And I've already run my first piece, got my measurements. Uh, to try to come out this thing's not real real square but we had to go with where the pillars were or the columns because that's where he wanted it to come out to so you know uh anyway just have them do what we got to do you can see i've already started putting the decking down right here and uh you know that's kind of what we got so um having to do a lot of cutting around them but it'll be fine uh the rest of this this will be pretty simple run on down uh, we'll probably we leaving two inches of overhang on here. Um, and then we get down here to the steps. We'll probably only leave a half inch or something right in this area, which I'm gonna put a five quarter board across the front of this because that'll help close out them holes where the old ones were. So um, five quarter should get it pretty close. And yeah. So, and we just kind of got it, uh, you know, where we got it. The customer really wanted this to come up out here to that area, but we already we already up higher than we should be. And back here, it's pretty good. So I don't know what was going on out there, but uh, anyway, he's uh, he, both of them, husband and wife. Uh, they're happy. They're excited. Already got another project here. Uh, that they're wanting to do potentially uh, got a call about another or a message about another deck today uh, now I may have already mentioned this a lady messaged me on Facebook last night so y'all doing decks now I said huh I do pretty much anything in the off season but <clears throat> she sent me the dimensions today it's a pretty big I, th I don't think it was very deep like eight and a half feet but I don't seem like she said 30, 34 feet long, 35 feet long, something like that. Pretty good size. So. Um, and I'll show y'all something now. I'm going to show y'all something. You see how clean this is? Now, you might have saw in the time lapse, I had my saw set up here. You can see all the sawdust. But everything's put back up, cleaned up before I leave a job. All this stuff just come off the ground. This is from the saw. So, I don't leave a mess, you know. <clears throat> that's why I just went and picked that cup up out the yard. I don't think that's my cup. I don't remember having one that small. But, I, I've been here. I've been drinking coffee. So, guess what? Guess what? If that gets left here, they're going to think. I mean, they may know. They, he may say, oh, that's my cup. I dropped it out there. But, um anyway now i gotta see if my truck will crank i gotta get me a new positive terminal i guess it's you gotta wiggle it around can't get it tight so this morning i had to get out and wiggle the cable to get the crank but anyway i need to get a few pictures here and uh then get out of here gotta go eat well hallelujah it cranked so i didn't have to get out and wiggle the cables uh so anyway i'm actually going my wife and I to meet El Romo and El Romo. Both of them's first name begins with L. So I'm going to meet them and have supper together. And uh, so I'm gonna close out the video here. Appreciate you watching the video. Appreciate your support. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell all of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.